the racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. The increase in obesity across the U.S. is troubling, but particularly in the black community, where obesity among black Americans is significantly worse than white Americans. I'm Ami Horowitz, and I'm here in Woke Town, USA, to ask people why they think there's a higher level of obesity in the black community. Everything has to do with racism. Racism. Uh, I would call it institutional racism. Eating could be a coping mechanism. For, for racism? Yeah, if they feel bad. It's like depression based, so maybe the stress of um, racism maybe does contribute. And black people deal with racism every day, and that leads to bad food choices. Oh God, absolutely. I don't know what to do. You feel stressed out. What's, go what's going on? You okay? Okay. Okay. Education is a factor as well, um, which also ties into race, you know, like racism. They're not being educated as to what is good to eat, what is not good to eat. Yeah. Then you're not going to be able to choose the right things for you, especially if you don't know about them too. There's a lot more in-depth stuff that uh, predominantly, like a lot of white people, are more in tune with. I don't know how to be healthy. See, I got some weed. I'm trying to roll up. You stopped me at a bad time. Yeah. No problem. Honestly, the argument that you should, you know, have individual responsibility when it comes to like any of the major issues that we face and I have to especially related to, to racism is like completely ludicrous. Individual freedom isn't truly like individual freedom if you're not a white trained male. So I definitely don't think it's an individual responsibility. If you say individual responsibility, is that coming from a white privilege and white supremacy? 100%, yeah. They don't have any access to good food. Yeah, they live in food deserts. There's no nutritious food. Yeah, they're only like provided with really like bad quality food because it's cheaper to like manufacture and et cetera, et cetera. Right. Yeah, like, you know, there's more McDonald's there, there's all their supermarkets, it's all like Doritos and everything, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Do you think it's possible that Corp of America was looking to destroy the black community and therefore put a lot of this stuff in there? Um, I think um, definitely under some administrations for sure. I, I personally could believe that. I really could. Do you think it's a conscious decision by corporate America to destroy the black community by making sure they have all these unhealthy choices? Yeah, I think it's possible. Could be. Feel like where Whole Foods are, where Trader Joe's are, where like just bougie grocery stores are. They're all in white neighborhoods. All of them. Yeah, like there's no Whole Foods there. We're here in the heart of Harlem to find out if what we just heard is true. Is the obesity rate in the black community because of racism? I think it's because of probably what they eat. And because of the way we eat, maybe. I have a choice to eat healthy or not. You know, not making the choices to, um, I would say, like, to eat healthier. Life choices, exercise, food choices. I'm not going to take that, yeah. Right. I'm going to think it's, it's other things. I just think people need to watch their eating habits. That's all. And not because of racism. Absolutely not. I don't think so. I think one has to take control of their own health. It's also down to, you know, the individual in the household and what they learn from the family around them and what they see around them as well. It's like saying we don't know what we're doing half the time when we're making the choices we make. And in some, in many instances, knowing the consequences in the long run. People eat food and they like different food. Some people like that being on a diet, some people like running, some people don't. Individual choices. Did everybody should be accountable for themselves. Do you think it's racist to say that <laughs> personal choice? Nah, it's not. They said to me that saying that about black people is racist. It's like saying black people don't have free will. Black people don't have agency. Exactly. Like, that's just Isn't nonsense. Isn't that racist? That's a little bit to me, yes. It's very weird to hear to me personally. In a black neighborhood, they deal with racism so often the day that they stress eat. What? Does that not sound right to you? They're misinformed. Now, if they put a big hamburger place and you keep going to it and you gain weight, they didn't make you go in there. That's what I'm looking at. Whose fault is that? That's the person that's going in there. Why are you blaming this guy that opened his business? I'm fat. I'm fat. What do you want? Did you carry it well? Thank you. Appreciate that. If you go to a white supermarket and you walk in, the first thing you see is fruits and vegetables. You go to a black supermarket, you walk in, the first thing you see cakes, cookies, and, and, and fat. But is that because they know that's their market or because they know that that's their market and we yeah. have to we us like black people have to be awakened to what's going on what are you gonna eat tonight uh 
I already had lunch, had some chicken and rice for lunch. Might just make some uh, nice steak tonight with some rice again, protein shake, call it a night. I'm doing a master cleanse right now. I took it ownership of my weight and my weight gain, so you have to take ownership of your own health, your own weight. Y'all are doing some good stuff in Harlem, you feel me? I'm not a race issue. No, it's not. No, this, this plenty of fat f everywhere.